Hello everyone, I'm Ichuga and you welcome back to Orange Studios. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do a simple, clean pet flyer. And this is how it's going to look like. So as usual, we're going to create our new document. And to do that, the short key is Ctrl plus N. We are going to select 4 by 4 inches by 4 inches, we're working with 4 inches by 4 inches because we want to work with a perfect square. The resolution is set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is set to RGB, which is fine with me. You can name this uh, Messy because that will be the name of the flyer. And the rest is good to go. Let's create our file. So now the first thing we are going to do is to create the background as usual and to do that i have some elements here in illustrator um, this element will be made available in the description you can have them download them and use them so just a simple texture we have here or a simple pattern we're just going to apply uh, a color overlay let's double click on the right side of the of the layer and then you would have the layer style popping out so let's just click on color overlay you can choose whichever works for you i mean you are not restricted to using this so what i'm going to do is to replicate the pattern and make sure it fills the background as i want it just follow along so with this done we want to select all patterns control G to put them in a group and then we can rename it and call it pattern Now the next thing I'm going to do is to drop in my image and I already have this selected here so I'll drop it here and uh, just a little disclaimer once again the preacher has nothing to do with this tutorial it's, he's just using this image for educational purposes and he's in no way related to the content of the, of the, of the tutorial Now the next thing we want to add is our text and then we, we, we are halfway through. And then we want to choose this font here. I'll leave a link in the description on how to get this font. Now let's increase the font size to let's say 60. Ctrl J to duplicate and then drag it down. So we want to do one more thing, draw an ellipse or a perfect circle, press and hold on shift as you drag to give you a perfect circle. Select the two layers and then center them. This is fine. Now we can choose to center it, align to center with the word grant if you want. But you you get it that it becomes crumbed up here. So there's a way you can either align it to merge with this, but it still looks crumbed up here. So just use your discretion and align it properly just so that this one doesn't look like an eye tick it away or better still you can just drop it here and then you have the word grant as mercy so with this you can just manipulate this text
Now let's put all of this in a group. Let me first of all lock this. Let's put all of this in a group. Minus this. And then we'll name it E. Okay, so now let's create um, room for our guest ministers. And uh, we are seventy percent true. Now let's drop in our images. Now let's drop in our images. Press and hold on the Alt key. Press and hold on the Alt key. Take your mouse between these two layers, and then click to power clip it, or to clip mask it to the shape. Again, take the image above the shape and then press and hold on the control on the alt key sorry and then click take your mouse between the two layers and then you find out this arrow appears and then click once to clip mask it so you can resize it if the image is too big in the shape there and let's just add their names and we are done with it with them Now let's add uh, event details like the date, venue, and time. Now we're just adding the logo in the and then to do that I already have the logo up here in Illustrator. I'm going to pick it, drag and drop. You can use any logo of your choice to of course clients are different, people who work for are different so you can always set up another logo of your choice. And uh, I want to apply color overlay. Yeah, this color is okay. Drag it down. Just try to know. Okay, 
Okay, so and there we go. This brings us to the next uh, tutorial. But there was an effect you saw in the intro, and I would like us to go by it. It's just quick and simple. Just follow along, and you'll enjoy. So how do I make it? How did I make it look like a plastic film? It's simple. You download um, a plastic texture on Google online, and then apply blend modes. So let's jump in. So to create the effect, I've already dropped, imported my files here, I've created my shape and I've dropped the flyer we just designed, I've also dropped a polyton bag I downloaded on the internet big stock, but this is just for tutorial purposes. so there are watermarks in there and I've not bought the original file, there's just another one here, so we're going to use these things and we're just going to use blend modes. To make it look as though everything else is on the polythene or the flyer has been printed on a rubber bag. Now let's let's see how it works. So first of all, we want to turn this turn this off by clicking the eye, then change this blend mode to multiply. No, that you can work with other blend modes like um, linear bend, I mean, the dark color, and all that. They all give you the rubber feel and effect. Multiply that same. So you choose whichever you feel good about. I mean, whichever one works or works with the design you're working on, the colors you're working with, just select. So I'm going to go with multiply and then this will be applied on everything so you realize that the orange is having the rubber like effect the fly is also having a rubber like effect okay so let's adjust the position increase the brightness and then apply layer marks just take away the parts where you don't want it to show it. That's it. So you can just take your time and play around it. Make sure you have the perfect image you're looking for, perfect effect you want to have, and you're good to go. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.